Hello and welcome to Venusian Scorp Intuition. This video is going to be for my lovely Sagittarians, aka Saggies, for the week of April 29th through May 5th. I know you guys have been waiting and waiting diligently. You have. I do appreciate it, but I am here and you guys are also going to get a bonus sometime this week as well. Uh, like I said, this is for April 29th through May 5th for Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Don't mind me. I'm just looking at my notes here because I will forget. Um, as in regard to personal readings, my Easter sale is over slash spring sale. That ended last Wednesday at midnight. So I am at my regular rates until the next special. I do have readings as low as $15. If you would like a reading same day, uh, it'll be $25 extra. And if you would like a same day hour reading, those are $30 extra, okay? Because then I have to ensue in my on my time and I do have five kids in a household to run so if you want your reading same day uh, it'll be $25 and if it's up to an hour it'll be $30 also like I said this is for Sun Moon Rising and Venus for my Saggies okay so let's see what's going on oh, if you did want more information about the personal readings reach out to me at Venusian Scorp Intuition at gmail.com all the information will be in the description box below so, let's see what's going on, Saggies. It's been a while. All right. Holy Spirit and Archangels, can you please give us romantic advice for my lovely Saggies for the week of April 28th through May 5th? What do my Saggies have in store? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, so some communication. Some of you guys could be traveling. We have the Emperor here. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Taurus or Aries male. Um, maybe it's a male older than you. Maybe it's a father figure, okay, as in regards to a baby daddy or a, a, your actual father, all right? So I feel like it's going to be swift communication or they'll be traveling to you or you'll be traveling to them. But um, it seems like this Emperor, the messages are coming in to them. So you might have been reaching out to an Emperor, okay, Sag? Uh, we have the devil card here, so some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, or there is a kind of toxic connotation between you and a emperor, okay, guys? It could just be a strong connection. It could be toxic energy. Uh, we have the star card here, so some of you guys can be dealing with an Aquarius, um, or you guys could just be healing things between an emperor, okay? Because some things could have came between you guys, because this is between the healing card and the emperor. So maybe some toxic things between you and the emperor are healing. And uh, you guys have a message of that. I feel like, yeah, it could have been a disappointment in the past. But I do feel like this is for uh, past energy. But for some of you guys, it could be this week, okay? Uh, we have disappointment. They came out together in the five of swords and the five of cups. Fives are difficulties, okay, guys? So someone could be disappointed. Uh, could have been petty before maybe it was a petty argument and then now you could be like missing this person so you reach out to them okay or vice versa take the energy as it goes it could be a capricorn wanting to heal things with you because you guys had a falling out okay see we have the five of cups the five of swords the five of pentacles yeah it was um but i feel like it's petty energy it wasn't like a big blowout like a tower or the tower isn't here yet so let me not say that but Three fives, yeah, definitely some difficulties, but somebody's wanting to come back in. It went from petty to, oh, man, I am kind of miss this person, to actually coming in. So the emperor could be reaching out to you, or you got into it with this person, and you're like, okay, it's petty. I actually miss them. I'm actually disappointed, and you're wanting forgiveness for them. That is your wish fulfillment, okay? Or it was someone that wanted their cake and eat it, too. So I'm going to clarify the nine of cups here. Or it's someone that's smug, you know what I mean? So maybe you don't want to reach out or maybe uh, they don't want to reach out because they're full of pride and ego. Could have been a Scorpio and an Aries, okay? Um, or an Aries. They came out together. It could be a Scorpio with Aries in their chart or vice versa. Yeah, it, it died, I feel like, with the Scorpio. But now somebody wants a new beginning in it, okay? Like, just as quick as it stopped, it started back up. Like, okay, we're we not going to do this. I miss you. You miss me. We ain't got time for that, okay? I feel like it's a good energy of everybody just... You know, putting their differences to the side. We also have seven of pentacles here. Somebody's waiting for somebody to come in maybe with an offer. You know what I mean? See, it could have been competition for others, but I feel like this person is waiting to come in and somebody wants to defend themselves. Seven of wands and seven of pentacles, okay? Somebody's waiting. Somebody's like, oh, you know, I'm defending myself. Oh, shoot, all the cards want to fall off. Uh, but the temperance card came out. This is you, Saggy. Uh, the card of patience, balancing. Uh, wanting to 
like I said, somebody's waiting and defending themselves or somebody's defending themselves towards you and they're saying be patient because an offer is coming. Okay, Saggy? Or this person is being patient because an offer is coming to you. You could be offering to a cancer or someone could be confused about this new beginning. Okay? Uh, Virgo was at the bottom of my, my deck so you guys could be dealing with the Virgo. Uh, six of Swords. See, you might have been waiting for this person to come in, but they, I don't know if they took a while or not. I don't feel like it's a long gap between you guys' and separation. But they're, they're just starting to move on or they're coming towards you like, you know what? We need to stop this. You know, we need to heal this. Okay? We're going to come back together. Uh-oh. Too many cards. We'll keep this one. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Um, somebody could have been giving to two. That could have been what all the argument and the shebang was about. See? As soon as I said that, Three of Cups came out. Okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, it could have been a third-party situation. Or this person might want to give you some money or give you something and reconcile with you if it wasn't a third-party situation. Okay, for some of you guys, the third party could have been the Queen of Rods, but I feel like you're the Queen of Rods, Sagittarius, because you are a fire sign, and somebody is offering to you, okay? The Knight of Cups, somebody is wanting to offer emotions to you, okay? Now, if this isn't the old person wanting to come back, because I feel like they wanted to come back or you wanted them to come back to you and you were waiting I feel like you are going to get that emotional offer. Or the Knight of Cups can be someone new. Or like I said, you could be offering, okay, Sag? Flip the energy how you need to. However it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit. Time is an illusion, okay, guys? So energy, you know, it changes all the time. It's like a snapshot photo. It can change. Uh, high Priestess energy here. Uh, some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces or a Leo. Or it could be a Leo with Pisces in the chart. Pisces with Leo in the chart. But some people also see the High Priestess as Virgo. So this could be a Virgo Leo or a Leo Virgo, okay, that you're dealing with. But somebody was listening to their intuition and their show strength because they know maybe this person was coming back. So they wanted to show strength. So, like, say if someone knew you were coming back, they're like, oh, okay, I'm going to act like I, I, I have a lot of strength, like, mm, you want to come back, and why do you want to come back? You know, you're exercising some type of strength, some type of pushback towards this person, but you know they were going to come in, so you're kind of giving them a hard time, okay? See, they're handing you this Ace of Pentacles, and you're like, mm, should I take it? Like, evaluating, you know what I'm saying, the situation? Or like you, you could already have an option, and then somebody else is offering you another option that could also be uh, the situation, Sash. See, in this, the hangman, somebody's waiting, stagnant energy, because you're trying to make a choice about about what you're going to do, or your other person, your person could be, okay, so you guys might have an other person, okay, that just came out, um, so somebody's offering, and then it's like you're waiting, or it could be the other person waiting, like I said, or it could be a Pisces, um, but somebody's manifesting, somebody's trying to manifest the Ten of Cups with you, okay, seriously. Yeah, the, the, somebody's trying to manifest the Ten of Cups and a commitment, okay? This is a Taurus energy as well, okay? Wow. It's pretty good, Sash. <laughs> like, we waited long enough. Yeah, somebody's wanting to work on it. That's why I felt like it was past energy because I felt like somebody wanted to work on it. And then um, you guys are working on it and maybe somebody like hurt you or you hurt someone and now you want to work on it. But somebody could have turned their back and was like, you know what, I'm going to entertain other options. And some of you guys could have actually found an option, okay? Because look how you're looking at that Ace of Wands. Or you're looking at this offer like, mm, I don't know. You know, they broke my heart. Do I want to work on this or do I want to look off in the distance? Because, see, yeah, this person had the Three of Wands. So they had like three choices, one behind them, one in their hand, the other one in their hand. And then it's like they take one and they're evaluating this one. So somebody definitely could have got rid of other options and they're looking at you more intently now or vice versa, okay? But like I said, if this was something that stopped with someone, they wanted to start back up, messages are coming in quick, or they're traveling to you like, no, we, we are not breaking up. We're going to heal this shit. Seriously. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords and the Empress card here could be Libra or Taurus. Um, this is also the baby mom's card or, you know, a mother or someone pregnant. So somebody could be could have been sneaking around with their baby mama or a Libra or Taurus. And it caused someone to walk away. Like I said, guys, somebody was walking away. 
Okay? And now maybe this person is coming back. They might have stepped out and mess. Maybe they messed with their baby mama. Or you're the baby mama and they were sneaking around with you. But somehow I feel like the truth came out. Okay? And it caused somebody to walk away. All right? Or cut someone off, like I stated before. But I feel like somebody wants to come back and they want to heal this. Uh, they have the Ten of Cups energy. They actually want a commitment now. Maybe they got rid of this third party. Um, I got a, a glimpse of the justice and I got a glimpse of the world card. You see how somebody's being thrown off that wheel? I feel like they're like, you know what? I'm going to get rid of all this. I'm going to make it right between us. For some of you guys, the Virgo card keeps flashing. So for some, it's Virgo. See the page of swords. So somebody could have cut somebody off swiftly, okay? I told you it, it happened swiftly, but as quick as you cut them off, it's like this person wanted to clear the air with you like hell to the no-no. I love you, the Ace of Cups. You're not going anywhere in the page of cups. You know what I mean? You're not going anywhere. They're offering you this cup. It's not only just sitting here. They're giving you the cup. Like I said, some of you, they could have got you pregnant, gotten you pregnant, or you might get pregnant, so be careful. Um, but yeah, some. but for some, it could be messages of someone Having someone pregnant, okay? And maybe this causes uh, tears for someone because someone could have been juggling. But that's just a small portion of you guys. But for uh, others, this person wants to come in and they're coming in fast. You could have been mad at this person. But now they want to come in with love, offers, um, rejuvenating the relationship. Or they could definitely be traveling to you guys if this is long distance or you're traveling to them. I do see a lot of traveling cards, okay? Yeah, because somebody felt betrayed. Somebody could have been juggling. Heard talks of somebody being pregnant. It caused a lot of, you know, heartbreak. Made you feel like it was the end of the world. That's for some, like I said. But this person wants to start building back on the foundation. Okay, guys? This person could be utterly sorry. Whatever the case is. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. They're coming in. It could have been a tower. Like, this person's coming out of battle with you. They want to come out of battle. Or you might want to feel like being a, a, a bitch towards someone because you got some bad news. Make sure you guys leave some comments in the comment box. But, yeah. Uh, you could have someone blocked. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups here. Scorpio. Um, Cancer. Pisces. Uh, but somebody could be blocked from the home. With a water sign, okay, or somebody, you could be blocked and they could be with a water sign at the home. Like I said, some could be dealing with their baby mom, maybe they live with them or whatever the case is. Maybe you found out. Um, you could be blocking a water sign from the home, Sag. Other than that, someone is blocked from offering love and a home and, you know, coming back home. Like I said, some of you guys, this is a family, the judgment card. Somebody might not want this to come back together, or somebody could be just choosing their family over anything else, okay? But even though they want to choose their family or someone over anything else, I told you the Virgo card finally came out. Uh, the Hermit, somebody's looking within. They're like, no, you hurt me. I made my judgment. You're not coming back home, whatever the case is. This is dead. But I feel like somebody's really going to be trying to come back to you, okay, Sag? So let's pull the Romance. Goddess cards. Yeah, feel like somebody wants to get this. They want to come back. They might have fucked up. Especially you guys have a family dynamic. This person definitely wants to come back home. And you would have gotten messages or you will be getting them soon. So you know who I'm talking to, all right? Because this person is trying to message you down or you're trying to message them. Or travel to you, or are they trying to travel to you? Seriously, travel. Or they're trying to travel to you, or you're trying to travel to them? Can you please give us romance guidance in regards to the situation, Holy Spirit? Okay, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, that's why I say. I feel like someone's making the effort, or you're making the effort. Stay optimistic about your love life. I told you, I feel like some of you guys were waiting for this person. So, they're going to make the effort. And you just stay optimistic. See, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Somebody's going to want to come in and talk. I told you, somebody wants to talk. Somebody's sending an abundance of messages. They want to talk to you, okay? Because we have the free yourself card, okay? For some of you for some of you guys, 
who are, you know, thinking about it all the time. You're waiting because we have the seven of pentacles, seven energy. Um, free yourself from that. You know, this person's going to come in. They're going to make the effort. Just stay optimistic. Don't send out negative energy. And you guys are going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? For some of them, you might have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Maybe they're telling you about a baby. Maybe you're hearing some bad news. Free yourself from it, okay? I'm hearing the two messages, all right? All right, Saggy. If you need more insight into your situation, I'm looking greasy today, guys. I tried this new uh, primer and... Um, setting spray and it's a little greasy sorry but um reach out to me at venusianscorpintuition at gmail.com love you guys bye bye